Hello everybody, welcome to Painushima. I guess it would be International Airport. This is a small airport in Ishigaki Island, Okinawa Prefecture. We're actually much closer to Taiwan than we are to Okinawa and definitely Tokyo. We're quite far out in the Pacific. Here's exactly where we are on the map. You can see me, that blue spot uh, right near Taiwan uh, and Japan just to the north of us. We're pretty deep into the Pacific Ocean. I kind of like it here. And uh, Ishigaki-jima, you can see Naha on the top uh, right there disappearing. This is an island that's uh, such a beautiful place. Direct flights from Osaka and from uh, Tokyo's Haneda Airport. It's about two and a hours and 45 minutes away. This is our getaway. This is my 50th birthday kind of escape from the city and don't do any work. And now I'm sharing with you our departure live stream. And I'll take you through the airport and give you a quick overview of this little uh, airport in paradise. Painushima is the name of Ishigaki's airport here and uh, uh, it's pretty easy to get to. Here's the port city which I did a live stream a couple of days ago which you can take a look on here. Um, yeah, so that, that's where we're going to start from and uh, there's the sign. So you, you, this is where you arrive and you depart. The buses are over there. We caught our airport bus was just over there. You can get there's a taxi stand as well and then here's the uh, sign. That says domestic terminal. And here's the airport building. And uh, let's go take a quick look inside. They actually have renovated this. You can see the Shisa. These are uh, mythological um, creatures from Okinawa, gods. And you'll find them in front of buildings, one with a mouth open and one with a mouth closed. Everywhere. You can see uh, flights have just arrived. And we're gonna take a look at the arrivals and departures. Um, on the second floor there, there's an observation deck. I'll take you quickly up there. We don't have a lot of time. And uh, um, there's even an aquarium with aquatic life. Again, uh, like we're on the Pacific, so scuba diving is something that's really amazing here. Wow. I guess that flight just came, oh, hey. Hello. Hello, hi. Did you have a good trip? Oh, yeah. All right. Where's the birthday cake? It's, on <laughs> it's underneath there. We should go in a couple of minutes, right? Yeah. So our flight is leaving. You can see there's a lot of flights that are coming in. Actually, every 15 minutes or 20 minutes, a flight was going over a hotel. So I want to take you quickly upstairs. Here's an, like an Okinawa food stand that they got here with uh, kaisen don and uh, Okinawa soba. So you can get like a, a final meal. Wow. Here's a quick look at the menu here. All right, I want to go take you upstairs quickly. Take a look around. There's a Starbucks here. That's the only one on the island, just to, for anybody who's a fan of that chain. We'll take you up to the second floor's observation deck. Here's where the check-in for the domestic terminals are, right here. And we've already checked in. We're gonna get to our airplane in about five minutes, but uh, they, do it, they do it a little bit differently in uh, Japan. Um, first you check, you check in online and then they'll they'll take your bags and then you have to take your bags physically yourself at domestic terminals outside of Tokyo and you have to have it there'll be a security guard that will scan your suitcases for you and then you'll see a goodbye they don't actually take your suitcases at the window you have to it's a little confusing hey Vic Vic's here how you doing and WRX Turbo, WRX Turbo is in the house all right Here's the departures, and you can, it's kind of neat. After you go through security, this is where we're going to be. And you can see people starting to get on the flights right now. Oh, here's the security to go through. Wow, it's kind of long. We're going to have to get there. Oh, Nagai. Just kind of overview of the hotel, uh, the... Uh, lobby 
it's kind of nice. I like it. Like if you do arrive and you're waiting for um, somebody to come pick you up or something, you can get a drink and some food and kind of eat in a nice little lounge right there. We'll hang out. Our flight's at 3.50, so we have, uh, okay, we gotta move. <laughs> Where's the observation deck? Well, there you go, there's some restrooms here. <laughs> Let's go down. Did I miss, the, I guess the observation deck was the other way around. Well, I was assuming we'd have just a little bit more time but because we have Leo, we need a little extra time to get on the flight. And it's funny that a &E is on one side and JAL's on the other. So this is where you would check in for JAL on this side here. Before you get on a flight, domestic terminals don't have any food. So you might want to pick up a can of Spam or something from Okinawa. They have a local um, G-Biru or crab beer. And if you're going to get a gift or something like that, you can grab a Shisa from the store and definitely some confections they have some good stuff habushu which is the alcohol with the snake on it i don't know if you snake in it i don't know if you are all familiar with that they also have some really cool t-shirts here in okinawa the ishigaki t-shirts we got one for leo the t-shirt was uh, the ice cream maker does anybody remember what that's called Look at that, Godiva makes these Okinawa chocolate cookies with Benny Emo, which is the purple sweet potato, quite nice. And just a little bit of information I thought was interesting, Royce, which is the Hokkaido chocolatier, Royce potato chips, those are my favorite. They also have an Okinawa style um, chocolate and they make the, these um, chocolate potato chips, which are so darn good, with the salt from Okinawa, which is quite famous. And uh, they only make it, they only sell it here as well as like mango chocolate and a couple of other confections. Um, I, I haven't seen it outside of Hokkaido and here. So there's a lot of places to pick up some stuff here and here's the lobby. Oh, there's another, there's another food shop here. You can get the Ishigaki beef. This Wagyu beef is some of the best in Japan and it is quite pricey if you're eating it at the hotel. The price looks pretty com pretty good actually, 5,000 yen. And then you have the uh, uh, local soba. Asa is, do you see asa? That's seaweed on the right side with the umibudo, which is the sea grapes. So good. That asa tempura is my favorite. I don't know if you've ever had asa tempura. If you're in the, in the uh, um, area, you got to get that. So there you go. This is a quick overview of the Ishigaki airport. We got to go, but uh, it's, it's kind of fun to take a look inside and get an idea because all the regional airports here in Japan are different. Take a look at the live stream we did a couple of days ago to get an idea of what the town is like, the port here. And I'll see you back in Tokyo, everybody. Matane.